Hi guys, it's Sam, and you won't be seeing me in this video, but I thought I would share with you my makeup travel bag that I brought with me uh, to do on myself, the makeup that I brought for myself to do for my friend's bachelorette party. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the outfit and the makeup. So uh, let's get started. The first I want, thing I want to show you is the bag that I bring, and this is the travel makeup bag that I bring with me all the time anywhere that i go and it's pretty roomy and you could get it dirty i believe this is let's see it's estee lauder and i love the color it's a mint green and it holds a lot of stuff and so let me just get started uh the first thing i want to show you is the q-tip uh, this bag full of q-tips cotton rounds flossers and there are bobby pins in there I also brought a nail filer. You never know when you're going to get a stray uh, or, or like your nail broken or whatever. And then, of course, tweezers. Tweezers are my favorite. And let's see. This is the perfume that I, or the rollerball that I wore. And it's Toca Julieta. And it's just an, um, uh, I was going to say amazing. I mean, it is amazing. It's just a very simple, not over the top, uh, floral, sweet. Uh, rollerball so let's get started the first thing that I do uh, that I did was apply a face cream and this is just the one that it was small and um, just a, the face cream that I wanted to bring with me uh, next is the primer and this is the Nivea men sensitive post shave balm primer uh, it's for it's obviously for men, but this works so well to keep your makeup lasting long, and um, it it works really well. So I wanted to bring this. I should have, in hindsight, I should have put this into a smaller packaging because this was heavy and it took up a lot of room. Uh, for foundation, I apply the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, and this one is a medium fifty two warm. And this just works so well. It gives you full coverage and it lasts for a very long time. I'm probably going to bring this and a lot of the stuff that I mentioned uh, with me to do my makeup for the wedding, which is in Florida. And I'm going to need something that's going to be sweat proof and heat proof too. But for concealer, I, you know, since that foundation was so full coverage, I didn't need to use these. But I did bring, just in case, uh, this is the It Cosmetics Under Eye Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And then this is the L'Oreal, I'm sorry, Revlon Age Fine Concealer. Um, and I believe this one is in light and this is medium. But I didn't need to use these because the Kat Van D foundation was so full coverage. Uh, this is the powder I brought. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in Natural Beige. And I wanted a lot of the products not to have flashback. And I don't think this has F. SPF in it so uh, this is also adds more coverage which I like in a powder for contouring and hi highlighting well this is just I just use this for contouring this is the Kat Von D shade and light palette I feel like this gives you a lot of choices to work with and I normally use these two uh, contour colors but you could go from subtle to very dark contouring so this was great to have options for blush, I use my e.l.f. blush palette, and this one is in the dark. I have both the light and dark, and the dark one is my favorite. So these are the colors, and I used... I think I used this one. <laughs> I forget if I used this one and this one. I feel like they're kind of similar. This one is obviously darker, uh, but this is just a great overall blush palette. It gives you a range of colors, and they're all pigmented, like super pigmented. For highlight, I did bring two. Um, I didn't use the Hourglass one. This is more subtle. And I kind of wanted something with a little bit more sh shine and pop. So I used the Becca one. And this one is in Opal. And it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this highlighter. I I was debating because I wasn't. I was gonna leave my bag. I was getting ready at my friend's apartment, and I was gonna leave my bag there for. Our, for a few weeks and I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring this but I did and I'm glad that I did because this is just absolutely beautiful next to set everything I brought my elf makeup mist and set and I do have a few setting sprays but I this is still my favorite and it's the cheapest out of all of them 
for eyes i use the nyx primer the hd primer and while this isn't my favorite it does do okay i i had um so my friend's bachelorette party was april 21st and i believe i went to sephora to get the urban decay primer potion on the 22nd or 23rd and i wish i had that because that works so much better but this is okay uh, then for a base, I use the e.l.f. smudge pot in wine, wine not, wine not, and this is, this is probably one of my favorite bases. You could do so many looks with this. It just looks gorgeous underneath any eyeshadow you put on top. And the eyeshadow palette that I brought with me was the Nylon and Mimi Box collab. And... Ugh, all of my mirrors are so dirty. I'm so embarrassed. Sorry, guys. Uh, so the colors that I use were these two, and they're just amazing, pigmented. I love this palette. Um, just beautiful, beautiful colors. For eyeliner, I uh, brought my Milani Infinite eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. I have super oily lids, and this is the only one that stays put, so I love this one. I brought the Marc Jacobs uh, gel liner in black, but I didn't use this. I have a fear of my makeup running, so I did not use that. Next is mascara, and I brought my CoverGirl Super Sizer. I, this does hold my curl, but it's, I'm just trying to use it up. It's, it's a good one, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is the CoverGirl Lash Blast, which I have on my list to get because that's the only one that really holds my curl. For eyeliner, uh, for <laughs> eyebrow pencil, I brought the It Cosmetics. This is just really easy to work with, and I know I'm not going to come out looking like I have crazy brows, drawn-on brows, so I brought this with me. For lipstick choices, I brought three. Uh, this one is a Givenchy. It's a red color. I'll just open that up so you guys can see. It looks super, super dark, um, but it's... It's just a really pretty red color. Next is this pink one. It's the liquid, um, it's the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in Berry Recognize. And this is a gorgeous berry color. The one that I ended up using though was the NYX Liquid Suede. I didn't want to worry about my lipstick at all. And eating, while this stays uh, put, if you're eating and drinking and doing all that stuff, it will, uh, you get a ring around your mouth. So this, I knew that, I knew if I wore this, I wouldn't have to worry about it all night. Um, I could reapply or if I didn't feel like it. And this one in the color, ooh, did it rub off? I think it's vintage. Uh, but this is just a great, great, great color. And it does stay, uh, surprisingly well. A uh, product I did not use was the eyelashes and the uh, eyelash glue. I just ran out of time. And so this was a product that I did not, I chose not to use. And I'm one of those people that I will worry about this all night. So I'm kind of glad I didn't put that on. And for brushes, I brought the Beauty Blender to apply my foundation. Uh, this I use for powder. I brought an eyelash and this dog hair, but that's just per usual uh spoolie i use this i use this is the elf crease brush i also use the sigma travel 217 brush which i know they have different numbers now but that's still my favorite brush from sigma uh, eyelash curler this is just one that i have brought with me i didn't want to leave my favorite sonia kashuk one there uh i use this for contouring this is from the paris collection you get this at walmart I just feel like this, I use this for blush, but then I started using it for contouring, and this works perfect. This is the blush brush. This is from, oh, this hair all over me. Sorry. Uh, this is a blush brush from Target, the Up and Up brand. I love this brush. I brought this e.l.f. Um, I think it's Beautifully Precise line, the Precise Beautiful precision something like that um these are great brushes they're a little bit on the pricier side for elf but they work really well and then this i use to uh put powder under my eye to stop my 
mascara from running. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's fun to take a look into what people bring with them to get ready. And my next video will probably be will probably be a haul. Um, I can't wait to share it with you because I found I finally found the wedding dress uh, that I'm gonna wear to my friend's wedding. The one that I wanted to wear it was just too white, so. Um, I found another one, another one, and it's beautiful. So I can't wait to share that with you. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!